Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I'm going to do a oval tray and I'm going to use some acrylic looking handles and I'm going to be using counterculture cobalt dispersion color, their Bora Bora mica powder, and fast set in the blue label. This sets up in 10 to 15 minutes is the most working time that you have, so you have to work quickly. You can mix it equal parts A and B for three minutes. So right now I've got my first part of the epoxy in my cup. I do part B always before A. It's just, it's the thinner of the two and that's true for any viscosity of resin. So you always put the thinner in first and then the thicker one into it. It just mixes better that way. You have a more successful chance of it curing properly. Just a better mixing ratio overall. I've got my timer set for three minutes when I am ready to go. So anytime I use cups I uh, will mark it as you see, I've got a little mark there with a Sharpie, so I know that I'm pouring equal amounts of each part, which is very important. B the A part, which is you know, the second one you're going to pour in, is always like super thick, kind of like corn syrup. So after you mix it, you have 15 minutes tops to do whatever you need to do to get it mixed and laid out in the way you want it and then you're done. It will set up and you can touch it within an hour uh, so it's very a very fast process. I think I have about 13 ounces to 14 ounces. I didn't really measure it. I just marked it on my cup. Fast Set has a, a stronger odor by far than the medium viscosity. It's the one thing I don't care for it. It also creates a lot of bubbles so I'm gonna uh, put my mask on to mix this and I'll be back when it's done mixing. Okay, now I'm going to switch my timer to a stopwatch and hit start. And this makes sure that I know exactly how much time has gone by since I've mixed the resin. This is important to keep track of when you're using Fast Set. We're not doing anything like um, floral or anything like that, but I do want to keep an eye on the time. The other thing is I'm going to set my handles in before it gets hard and so that's why I have to have my timer going so I can keep an eye and know exactly how much time has passed. I hope you can hear me. I still have my mask on and I have goggles on. The bubbles in this resin are a lot more and little tiny micro bubbles will float up and so it's important to wear safety protection when you're using any kind of resin, even if it says it's non-toxic, those little bubbles can go into your lungs, into your eyes, and resin hardens after this chemical reaction. And you do not want any chance of that happening inside your body. Okay, so it's a minute and a half, and I'm going to add a little bit of cobalt dispersion color. And I just want really a drop or so. You have to pour very carefully because this will come out really fast. So I'm going to start with this amount and then I can add more if I want to. So that's good, but it's very, very transparent as you can see. So I want it to be pretty opaque. So now I know that I can add at least as much as what I put in before, maybe a little bit more. 
So right now I've probably got about 13 or 14 ounces of resin. And in the tray, I do not want to fill it all the way the, to the top because I'm going to embellish it with acrylic paint. I don't want to fill it to the top because after I paint it, I'm going to put a flood coat on inside of the mold. Once you take it out of the mold, it's so much harder to flood coat. It's much easier to do it when you have it in a mold. It keeps a perfect shape on the edges and everywhere. So that's good. I think I want just a little bit more. You also could add, you know, Bombay inks or another colorant. I just, uh, I'm showing you everything with counterculture products today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this into the mold. We're at almost four minutes right now, so we're plenty good on the time. It might look like I have a dirty mold, but it's what you're seeing through the mold. I'll zoom in just a little bit more. This is kind of a oblong shape and it came with handles but I'm I don't want gold handles which is what it came with so I'm using my own acrylic ones so again I don't know how much I need but I just know that I need to stop when I see that the mold is about maybe two-thirds of the way filled up so I'm just I'm actually sitting down so I can see how deep it looks and that right there is pretty close to what I want so what I'll do is just take the leftover resin add it to a mold and I want to save about an ounce and I'm going to add the little Bora Bora I'm just going to get a little a little scoop one of these little scoops like this just I don't know where I got it it came with a something I ordered so this will make a really beautiful shimmery effect and what's left in the cup and I don't know if what this is going to do because it does cure fast but I'm going to go around the edge it's at almost eight minutes right now I'm going to go around the edge of this coaster off to the side which you can't see much of but it's the same principle I'm at nine minutes right now, nine minutes and 43 seconds. I'm going to take a skewer and just kind of drag that shimmer in. Just gives a little interest. We will not be seeing the bottom of this and so that's not important. With a tray where you're adding handles or decoration, it's always going to be the top side that matters. I could have used um, more resin, more of the blue resin with the Bora Bora and had more of that effect. I just didn't know how much to actually pretty much make. This is the first time using this mold and I'm removing my mask so you can hear me. So usually I put water into a mold to figure out how much, how many ounces the mold will hold max, but I didn't do that this time. But I knew that I wouldn't be filling it all the way because I was going to be painting something in the center. So again, that was cobalt dispersion color and just around the edge was some Bora Bora. I could have done the whole thing with Bora Bora in it and that would have been beautiful too. I see more bubbles. This stuff stinks. Check for any hairs. I'm at 12 minutes right now. The other thing you can do for bubbles is you can spritz with alcohol. That also will pop any surface bubbles. I'm going to cover this. 
I'm going to check it at about 20 to 25 to see how thick it is so I can set my handles in. So I can't leave this area necessarily. So I'm going to wet it out and I'll show you exactly what I'll be doing. It's been 24 minutes and I already waited too long. I can touch it. So what I'm going to do, I have some clear polish. I did this on my last project. I'm just going to stick clear polish and this is going to act like glue. The thing with fast set is it works fast and you can feel the heat from this coming up. <coughs> So just set in your handles. So uh, ultimately probably around 20 minutes is where you want to add those handles. It It's still flexible but you can touch it and it's already it's not tacky anymore so that just shows you how quickly and it's really warm really warm. So I'm gonna wait probably about an hour and then I'm going to, I'm going to embellish it with acrylic paints. I don't want to do it right now while there's so much heat going on with the reaction because that might do something funky to my paints and I don't want that to happen so I want it to have cooled down a bit. So I'm going to give it some time. There's no brush. So I'm going to put this aside and let it continue to harden. I'll be back to show you the embellishment. Alright, so this has been a few hours since I poured the uh, fast set resin into a tray. It's nice and hard. I'm going to do a little bit of artwork on it. And I have one coaster. And you can see maybe slightly how the um, mica, the Bora Bora mica, kind of went inwards. And it's done the same thing on the tray. It's just very, very faint. I don't know if you can see it around the edges. But what's going to be special about this piece is there's going to be artwork in the center that's going to be hand painted and embellished. And then after it dries, I will put another coat of fast set on top to seal in the artwork. And that will make this unique tray. Totally special all by itself. Then I'm going to outline with a pearl dimensional PBO, PBO Vitria, Vitria 160. It is a outliner. It's made for glass painting but you can use it on anything. This is like glass. It will dry, air dry pretty quickly in a few hours and then I'll do a base coat. So, if you can, I would typically freehand this, but I want to show you how I sometimes do something. Let's say you find something on Google Images and you print it out on black and white, and I've used this pattern multiple times. The old fashioned way of transferring anything is just to, to scrub a pencil on the back, and that puts the carbon on the back side of the piece. And so typically I would do three flowers. This time I'm just going to do two. And you press firmly with a pen. Lift up and make sure you can see your line. And I'm just going to go basically around the shapes. Then we're going to take white acrylic paint and actually here is a cobalt blue which is you know pretty much the color of the dispersion color that we added in. I'm just going to start painting and you can watch. Actually I'm just going to go ahead and paint the, the whole outside shape. 
I'm not even going to worry about the pencil lines of the in, inner petals. I'm just going to paint the actual shape in, get it painted in really quickly, and then I can come back and do the details much faster doing it that way. So I'm actually going to put some uh, Prussian blue on the plate. And I'm actually going to go for a, a closer color to the, the background for now. So now that it's base coated, we can go back and we can put the flowers back down in the general vicinity. So that just gives us a basic outline again. It's almost just like resin. It's going to be a clear, transparent thing. And I can brush that Bora Bora anywhere I want to to give it that shimmer. kind of see that shimmer just slightly so now we're going to take the pearl and outline everything and this will give it definition So again, that's PBO. I used um, 
Just Deco Art high gloss varnish with a little Bora Bora for that shimmer. And you have a hand painted piece pretty quickly. You can keep it much more simplified. You can be more loose and make it color, make it colorful. So the sky is the limit as to what you can paint on it. It can be impressionistic. It can be realistic. It can be funky. Oh, wow. You could totally go around the edge and do a design uh, with the dimensional paint. It's up to you. Once it's dry you can kind of scrape off anything with your fingernail that you know maybe goes over the edge. Um, I'm going to let this dry well and I'm going to make sure I have all the pencil off of it because I can see some little shimmer of pencil underneath around the edges so I'm going to wait to do that after it's totally dry and then we'll do a clear coat on top so stay tuned for that I'll be back okay I've got the fast set mixed for three minutes and ready to pour it in the tray Spray it with alcohol and cover it up. I'll be back in an hour or so to unmold the tray. So here's the underside, which is just blue, not really anything special. And it is a little bit see-through, as you can tell. So I could have gone, I could have really added that um, more Bora Bora into the whole thing and the shimmer would have made it less see-through or more colorant. And here is the details. So you can see the blues, the shimmer. Now it looks like I actually didn't put the blue on there. It looks like the blue is peeking through from the bottom, which it could happen that way. You could paint it that way. It's just um, I made the blue match the blue of the plate and um, or the tray. <clears throat> you can also, you know, apply Cricut vinyl, and you can do uh, laminated stickers or anything else that you want to do. If you're if you're not a painter, you can do so many different things. You could decoupage something in here and let it fully dry and seal it in between something paper-wise and then resin coat it and have something really beautiful. So there's so many options when it comes to what you can do as far as embellishment goes. So here's this tray all done with fast set and acrylics and some acrylic handles and it's ready to roll and rumble. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something and I will see you on the next video. Make sure to check out all the links below the video. I share all the products that I use and there's different groups that you can join in Facebook, especially my Facebook group Sandra Let's Share Our Acrylic Fluid Art and More and the latest group that Heather Mater and I made uh, created is Art Healing Hearts Auctions and that is a group that is going to expand and grow continually and we hand select 10 or so artists every few months to do an auction and we uh, it's just to put 
artists and potential collectors together, to combine people together across the country, to share art in a healing, loving, and beautiful way. And there is a commission for the artist to participate. It's very small compared to a lot of galleries and so forth. And if you're interested in applying as an artist for this auction, go to www.arthealingheartsauctions.com to apply and also for anybody to sign up for the newsletter for our next event. Come join us. Thank you so much. Love you all. Bye-bye.